Hi everybody, this is Annette. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I bring you my bead storage organization and I am using the Elizabeth Ward bead storage solutions and I usually purchase the 45 piece assortment although they do come in a two piece, a four piece, and an 82 piece and it's going to depend on the size. They also come with these removable stickers that you can definitely label each container which uh, helps me a lot because in reality when I uh, store my beads I sometimes get rid of the actual sticker that comes with telling me what kind of bead it is and what size so it's great to have those uh, removable labels to do that this storage unit uh, it's easy organization it stores beads and supplies it not necessarily has to be for beads but it can also be for your scissors or your pliers the great thing is that it's stackable and it has a lid on it. You can also use it to put your bead board in it and uh, it comes also with it with a foamy board at the bottom. That way when you are creating your designs it's super easy to create and then nothing spills out of the box. So let's get into the video. Just four of these assorted beaded trays from uh, Bee Sword Solutions. Uh, they are called the Elizabeth Ward Bead Storage Solutions if you want to find them online. I, I bought four of them because I need to start storing my beads again. I have bags and bags of beads, but I also want to reduce the amount of boxes, like little tackle boxes that I've had for a while. And I think this is a perfect solution. This not only stores beads, this one that I bought is uh, has 45 pieces of this little plastic in, so you can you have little different sizes from smaller to big one. But you can also put your bead board in here. Let me zoom in. And you can also store different things here as uh, strings, scissors, and other arts and crafts and supplies like that. But I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be putting in these four boxes and I'm going to show you how many I end up with. The great thing about the assorted bead storage tray is that this is what it looks like if you've never seen one before and it comes with removable bonus labels. Uh, this uh, detaches from both sides just like that. You take the tray, the top tray off. You have your stickers that will go on top of each of the little boxes right here so you can label every bead that you have and you know for the future not only you're seeing them there but you know what they are in this case this says part uh, information number and price i don't do that i usually just put here if it's a crystal rondelle or agate whatever that is in the size here so that way i know what i have on the container and uh, if you remove it, then you're able to put your beadboard in here and work with everything so nothing runs away from your beadboard. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the mess of my jewelry room so you can see. But I'm planning to store some of those boxes that I'm going to show you. And I'm planning to store, let me show you this bag. I have this bag full of beads and all of these are going in here as well. So... I'm going to go to my jewelry room and show you. So I have beads in containers like this, but I've gotten tired of having them here and not being able, every time I wanna use one specific bead, I have to remove the entire box and take it with me, then open it. And I've had awful surprises of this spilling on the floor like you wouldn't believe. If this drops and falls, this opens. Like you can see, I've tried to close this and every time it just opens back again if it falls to the ground everything is spilled the other thing i don't like about these boxes is that the dividers inside are plastic and with that comes that all this gets mixed together and i just absolutely just hate that so to avoid that i started doing everything on these uh that i have right here now i started off with five boxes the first time i purchased them i purchased them at walmart for twenty dollars but if you purchase them now online uh and they're stackable as you can see i just have to you know put them all together but they're all stackable uh my thing with these boxes is that if you get them online they're going to be over thirty dollars if you get a good deal you might find them at seventeen dollars when they're on sale but it's perfect so i'm going to move all these beads and all these beads right here that I have and the ones that I just showed you into these uh, bead storage containers. So I had 
four stacks and when i say four stacks i'm going from here all the way to the top four stacks of this they were all lined up it would come all the way up here all through this whole panel that i have right here and i've stored them into all of these right here and i'm going to show you the empty boxes so you have an idea of what i'm talking about this these are all my boxes that i used to have right here all over here on this shelf and i've removed them and here's a stack of them in one place so i really want to take advantage of all of these and move them and all of these and at the same time what i do is i either color code them or put if they're findings or if they're only jasper or red or whatever i'm going to do that's how i'm going to do these i know i have gold silver copper antique gold and i have silk and i have uh, some bicones down here I'm gonna be removing that and putting them in the boxes. And if you want to see the process, just follow me along. Okay, so this is one of the boxes I was telling you about. Let me open this right here. And when you open this, as you can see, these come off. And they're not really the perfect thing because if this falls to the ground and I do this, all this moves underneath it, especially if they're little beads like this they will move and run to the other side and i found myself with many of those just all, like these get mixed together all the time because this goes off every time i have to move the box and take it with me and i don't like that so i'm going to take each piece that i have here and i'm going to put it in a little container and i'm going to do the transfer so if you want to watch me work on that let's go I forgot to mention that I also got these um, extra boxes because as I organize, I can definitely restock these in a different way. If I want to put one of these rows in here, I can do that and it will all fit in there just in case I don't need all these bigger uh, containers over here. But for now, what I'm going to do, I've already emptied a couple of those boxes. These I'm going to use for these uh that i have here uh from my previous videos you should see them on my haul videos it's designed by me by jesse james and these are just a full set that comes together you can make bracelets or stuff like that so this will be a perfect pack to put between you know here i don't have to divide them and when i'm ready to use them i can do that i have a couple of them this one's on purple and another one that i bought on black because these are so nice they they come stack pack for like five bucks so that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, you guys, I want to show you. This is my bedroom here and I have so many, but I still have, I think maybe more four containers of these in the other room that I'm still working with. But just so you can grasp an idea of what I have accomplished. So I have here gold findings or antique gold findings and I have uh, antique uh, silver and some uh, sterling silver on this side. I have gemstones, seed beads. I have uh, pearls. Let me go to the pearl one so you can see the pearls. I have pearls right here and right here because I had two containers. One is glass and one some are freshwater pearls. And um, some are by color code, the blue ones, the red ones seed beads uh and you can do whatever you want with these boxes this these boxes are so amazing i wish i could get like a whole <laughs> let me see if i can get a picture and show you but this is phenomenal this system just works so well for me the great thing about it and this is why i purchase additional little containers and here's why after you finish organizing everything you are always going to have a couple of containers that are empty on your let's say on this one it's gold it's because i may have some other gold uh, findings on some other container that i have to reorganize here if that's the case and then i'll put them in here if they fit but in some cases because 
these boxes of 45 come exactly like this one looks it has the smaller trays here the medium size the large and the extra large and not every container that i have here is is um stored like this one this one it happens that everything fit perfectly in the way the container came in sometimes i just want to change it up i'm going to use more of the smaller one or more of the medium ones or more of the larger ones or extra large ones and that's where i'm going to like here change the pattern of it because i have uh, focal beads that are bigger so i'm going to need bigger containers so this one has an extra space right here which i'm going to use when i have additional beads that i purchase now i'm going to find some trays after reorganizing i'm going to find some trays that are half empty and that's where these come into play the extra ones and these are i think this one was like five dollars and this one was like eight dollars or vice versa but they're very inexpensive and th this is a lot of storage. I'm not even gonna use this whole thing to fill this out, but for sure you have extra space like on the black ones right here. Let me show you on this black one, I have extra storage. I do still have beads that I have not finished storing, which I will do. Um, and like I have this orange and uh, turquoise color and purple and some of the purples here I still have some containers that I haven't opened over there to uh, put all this in but I label these on the side when I'm done doing everything because these are stackable and because they're stackable then you are able to just uh, put them all on top you see how much space this is all taking right now I can just go and stack them all just like this okay these are closed and this is just a sample and then I store them this is how I store them and then I can put here this is uh, silver finding gold findings these are red stones or glass pearls however I want to do it however is more comfortable for you that saves you space this is the perfect system for you if that's what you're looking for well this is how I organize my beads I hope this has been helpful and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them on the comments down below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps grow my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until next time, God bless.